well. It should be no surprise that they were gonna do another one of these. Yeah, ever since, ever since to ever since two thousand sixteen, I've always, I was all, I've, I have always expected Hasbro and uh, Digix Media to, uh, to uh, make another Clistery Girls film, and I was right. They did, because if, if they already made two sequels, why wouldn't they want to make another one? Because <laughs> so, so yeah, the, I was already aware that they were going to make another one. So, so yeah, it's it's not like I wasn't aware that they, they was going to make another one. Fine. I I wasn't yeah, trust me I was not I was not surprised that they was gonna make another one and I don't blame them either because because the question goes it's being loved by so many fans <laughs> not to mention they already knew the, the the team at Hasbro already knew that there was gonna that that friendship games was gonna was gonna get all the love considering that Question Girls One and Rainbow Watch did so 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 they developed this film they developed this program literally one month they started put the this this sequel in development literally just one month before the release of Friendship Games. It's because it's like they be, because because yeah, it seems like Hasbro knew that Friendship Games was going to get all the love and, and that they knew people wanted to see another one, so that's how this was created. And and I'm gonna be reviewing it because, well, I've reviewed the first three films, so why would I want to review this one? And I know some people are probably thinking, ah, why, why are you even gonna? What's the point of you even gonna be making this? More of these Equestrian Girls review videos. If you're just gonna say that this sequel is not is 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 nowhere better than the first film, because nothing beats the original Equestrian Girls film. Well, believe it or not, this one is actually better. Yeah, no joke. Legend of Everfree is actually better than the original first three movies. It, especially even the first film. Film. Even the first film. I'll still mention some so a few flaws there are in this in in this sequel, but for the most part <clears throat> There, this one's better. This one's actually better than the first film, and I'll, and I'll be explaining why. But before I do so, <clears throat> oh, I need, I need to get two things out of the way. First off, I need to get through something that I cannot stand, and that is. And that thing I cannot stand in this franchise is nothing other than side twy torture. Like literally, it, it it seems like every time they do they they do something with this franchise, they always have 
they always have sire. They always gotta put sire twice torture in, and it's like, what are the people of this franchise doing? It's like, come on, man, sorry. I mean, come on. It's like, come on, guys. The this character's already had a hard time from Crystal Print. Why do we, why do we gotta make her suffer even more? I know some of you who's been watching my Vanilla Round Little Toss One Animation account are probably thinking, well, 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 well Vanilla Rabbit Lover, you're, you're, you, you had Sajwa get stabbed multiple times in part 14 of your 233 remake, and you had her, and, and you, and, and, and you, and you also had her die in that scene, isn't that considered Sajwa torture? Don't get me wrong, it should be, but it was just for sake of of ending a <clears throat> a spoof franchise because I couldn't, I because because I couldn't I didn't want to disappoint any haters spoofing the fourth Toy Story movie. That's why I did that. That is a completely different scenario. scenario. <clears throat> No, this is something that actually happens in the franchise. Like seriously, I'm I'm tired of seeing side why torture. It's it's really it's 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 really just just sufferable. It's it's God, I can't even describe the other thing thing <clears throat> but you get my point side joint torture is really getting 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 annoying and also spoiler alert because there will be spoilers whereas in this video so for those who haven't watched Legend of Everfree, I recommend you get off this review video and watch it on Netflix, if it's still on Netflix. If it's not on Netflix, then I'm sure it's the full movie is uploaded somewhere on YouTube. Because I think I've... I've seen some uploads of the full movie on YouTube when I was spoofing, when I was, when I was trying to spoof the Toon Story 3 movie, the Toon Story 3 remake. Like, on my, on my Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 animation account. <clears throat> ah. And here we go. Here's my review on the last Equestria Girls film. So the here is my review on the last Equestria Girls movie. Movie. But and yes, this is the last Equestria Girls movie. But even though this is the last film. Of the movie franchise of 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 Equestria of the Equestria Ghost franchise, the franchise does not end does not end with this movie movie. Cause cause after I do cause after I review Legend of Ever Free, I'm gonna be reviewing the uh, three uh, summer specials that were aired in 2017. Oh. However, I got I got watch them first, cause cause I have not seen any of them. Well, actually, I have seen uh, I have seen Dance Magic back in two thousand seventeen on my on 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 YouTube on my phone. Yeah, on my phone. But but it was. But it was in a different. I I was watching it, it. The video, the upload of that special was in a different language. So, 
So I don't, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't really want to count that as me knowing the plot of that, that, uh, that, uh, special because I, I, because I really shouldn't be feeling the, uh, because if, if plots really sh are, seem like they're more explainable when they're in English, so, this will be my first time watching seeing Dance Magic in English. This. And also, I was, like I said before, I was expecting that there for the a fourth Equestria Heroes film. I was already expecting for there to be a fourth Equestria Heroes movie. But what I was not expecting is that it is is that they made it a Netflix. They made it a Netflix exclusive film, film, which actually surprised me because I was expecting it to be, I was expecting Legend of Everfree to either be a directed video film or a, uh, or a, or a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, or or have it premiere, premiere on television on Discovery Family, but. No, this time around the film premiered on on Netflix. Netflix. <clears throat> the film premiered on Netflix and ironically enough, this is the only Equestria Girls film where I first saw it on the exact the exact the exact day that that it first came out, because because with the first three films, I haven't seen the first Equestria Girls film until two thousand until March of two thousand fifteen when I was watching it on my uh, on I mean m when I was watching it did on my grand grandmother's laptop at my grandma's house. As for Rainbow Rocks and Friendship Games, I didn't see those two sequels until until July 2016 when I was watching them on 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 Netflix on Roku on the Roku at my dad's house. But here I actually watched this this time around, I actually I actually first saw this on the day it came out because it be, be because when I was because when I was living in my dad's house at the time, I actually I actually we had internet, so <clears throat> I watched. So yeah, I watched this at my dad's. I so so yeah, I watched this when it first came out on Netflix on on my old Roku that I used to have. I have a new Roku now, and I had it since 2022. But yeah, imagine what I'm saying. I watched it when it first came out on Netflix at my dad's house, and I like, and I liked it. Also, you, you, you might be wondering why the release date on this thumbnail here this time around is in a orange yellow color instead of a purple color. Well, it's because this this came out in in October uh, in October of 2016 and and October is a Halloween month and orange is the color of of well, not all pumpkins but most pumpkins cuz I know some pumpkins are white. But yeah, October but yeah this was released on October 2016. Now it wasn't released on Halloween Day 2016. No. It was released on the first the very first day of October in in 2016. Yeah, that's right. October 1st, 2016. Cartoon Network's 24th birthday. <laughs>
But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the review video. 15 minutes with this video, and I, and and I've not, and and I've not even gone close to explaining the plot. So let's get, let's go ahead and get this started. Get the music on. Okay, here we go. Camping. Camping is a natural outdoors place to people enjoy getting to. Because it's where you uh, it's where you uh, roast mushrooms outside. <clears throat> Tell some scary stories at night. And it's where you go to the left. Me. Me, I haven't, I have never went camping, I have never physically went camp, camping, but I, I have some, I have roasted some marshmallows before. <clears throat> no joke. Joke. I didn't go camping, but I did, but I have. I have fr frosted marshmallows before, like, this one time when I was six, there was this, we were at, we were at a church, and, and we were roasting marshmallows for this fire, and some, oh, some of the marshmallows I roasted are a little sticky. And there was also this one time where, uh, there was also this one time where my, my sis, my sister and her, her friends were all, uh, roasting marshmallows in our backyard. I did this, I, I did the same thing. <clears throat> thing. And, uh, I don't know how much I've enjoyed too much. I've been sleeping, I... And, and 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 during that time I was also and and I was actually also sleeping in the backyard too in the inside the tent. And that was and that was back when I was ten years old. And uh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and I've also had some s'mores a few times before. I was making, I was, I was making s'mores for, for the camp. <clears throat> Not, it wasn't for a camp, but I have, I have, well, I had or made a few s'mores before. So yeah, while I didn't exactly go camping, while I didn't exactly go camping, I did, I did, I, I did, somewhat did some, some me, uh, some things that you would do at a camp. Camp. And... It was basically those two things. Roasting marshmallows and and making s'mores. Oh, and there was also this one time at a when at a school, this was also when I was ten years old. One time at school we were pretending we were at the camp and we were all telling uh in a story. We were, we were telling stories, so while we still didn't exactly go camping, we were pretending that we were camping. <laughs> but 
But yeah, apart from that, I didn't go camping physically, nor do I, nor do I plan on it, on it because, well, because of, I don't really go to that many to places that much anymore. <laughs> But my point is, camping is is a place that everyone can go so they can relax. But that doesn't seem like a case for side why, because why? Why is that not the case for Sides? Why? Because she's still big. Because she's upset about what happened back at the friendship games. Games. She's upset about what happened. To Friendship games, oh, blame kept constantly blaming herself for it, for it, that she just can't relax. And and yeah, yeah, I know what 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 that can feel like. I I know what that can feel like. I I know what that can feel like. It <clears throat> if where you're uh, forced to uh, uh, do something you don't want, you really don't want to do to twenty one, but someone kept forcing you, you made it happen. There's so the the destruction strain was caused too much that you you just can't help but but feel bad for yourself. I know what I can feel like. <sighs> there was a... Uh, there are even some times where I feel guilty about about something. Then, but for example... Who? <clears throat> For example, last last month, my mom was supposed to have a day with uh, her. Uh, with with a, my mom was supposed to have a day with my grandma on <clears throat> the twenty. On the March twentieth, but then, but then that ended up being my day. And I feel, and I feel bad about which. So that caused the day to get pushed. And I feel bad about doing that. So I tried to fix it by, by pushing my day to a new day. <clears throat> and boy, then. That didn't work out between me and my mom. I could explain more of 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 why I did that, but I'll be going off topic again. Plus, it's kind of personal, so. I, I really shouldn't explain it too much. But my point is, I I can see, I can still see where, where side why is, is coming from with it. I can, I can so see where side why, what side why is feeling here, because Cause she's she's definitely not the only one who uh who who blames herself because of certain destruction that happened. 
And, and and she thinks that what happened at the friendship games was her was her own fault too. No, if anything, it was it was it was you know, it, it, it was Principal Cinch and the students of Crystal Prem's fault. If they haven't pushed sides one too much to the point that that she's starting to get curious, want to know what 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 the magic is like under. Under that device, then wise they she wouldn't she then she wouldn't be feeling guilty about herself. And thankfully, we don't get to see those those uh, um. I'm not too much of a cussing person myself. I, I've never, I, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be cussing myself. But it's that one cuss word that has the word a uh, hole at the end. Yeah, that, that's what the crystal pimp people. Yeah, yeah, that word. That's what the crystal prep people are. Sorry. Why doesn't Side Twy want to relax at Camp Everfree? Well, we're about to. Well, we're about to explain. Explain why in this review. I've I've probably got this disclaimer out, but I'm gonna give it again in case if I didn't. But spoiler warning: if you don't want to be spoiled, get off this video and watch the Legend of Everfree movie first. I don't know if it's still on Netflix or not, but I'm sure it's a full movie of this is uploaded on YouTube somewhere. I I think I think so. Yeah, I think there's a full movie of, of this uploaded on YouTube. But anyways, let's get back. Let's get to the actual review. Let's finally get to the actual review. Twenty. It's been 27 minutes, and all I've been doing been after 15 minutes of boring random talk is uh, mention the topic in this video, which is camping. But yeah, let, let's go ahead and finally explain the plot of this film. So it starts off with uh, Sai Twy uh, going to sleep. Seems like she's having a bad Still asleep. Seems like she's having a bad dream. Seems like she's having a bad dream. Because she keeps talking to herself panically. <clears throat> Then her friends comes in, reminds her that the the bus going to Camp Everfree will be leaving in uh, ten minutes. So they help, so they all help. They all come in. They help side Boy get ready for Camp Everfree, and then a familiar face, a familiar face, shows up. Mid Midnight Sparkle. Oh, one thing, oh, I, I just have to say, one thing that really surprised me, but also at the same time, I'm, I'm incredibly ha glad, very, I really think it's good that they did this, but the name Midnight Sparkle is, is actually present in, in the Camp Everfree movie, while because where in friendship games when when side Boy becomes midnight sparkle the name midnight sparkle was not mentioned and the best and it was people typing in midnight sparkle the name yeah it, yeah I bet many of us 
probably just thought that Midnight Sparkle was just the name we YouTubers came up with because just to give our name for demon form, but no, it turns out that's actually her name, Midnight Sparkle. Anyways, Midnight Sparkle tries to tries to turn side to her again, but guess what? None of that actually happened because that did not. That never actually happened because, because it was all just a bad dream. As Sideway wakes up already, already on the bus on the way to Camp Everfree, they all go to Camp Everfree and they meet Timber and Goriosa. Timber, Spruce, and Goriosa Daisy. <clears throat> Whom, which by the way, Timber simps on, uh, on, uh, side. Side why and I've 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 saw some review videos and I I've saw s people don't like the uh temper side twice ship because they claim that they keep claiming that timber is you know too old way too old to date side twice and all that. But come on, come on, guys, come on, guys, grow up. We don't know if Temper's too old to date to side twy or not. I mean, come on, the characters age, the age of the characters are not mentioned. Well, well, actually, Stimson told me, Stimson J Cat Number Two told me this one time that Warren Faust, the creator of Mile Pony Princess Magic. Actually confirmed that the uh, the uh, the the humane seven or the age between fifteen and seventeen. So ah, there goes me being an idiot when I was mentioning their ages in the friendship games review. Yeah, there goes me being an idiot saying that Sidewire was 14 in the Friendship Games review. Although, I guess... I guess I should have known that, that the characters would... That the main son, humane son would be ages between 15 and 17. Although, that, like, although then again, like I said before, they never reveal... How they never actually mentioned how old the characters are. Well, apart from Lord Faust mentioning that the main seven are uh, the humane seven are between fifteen to seventeen years old. Anyways, they all go inside their cabins, and and suddenly Sai Twy gets this strange magic. She gets the exact same. Magic ability that Pony Twilight has gotten, and and she thinks that is a she thinks that is a bad thing, but uh, Sunset tries to tell her that that this that's that it's amazing. Tries to tell her how cool it is that she's got her own magical ability, but. But she, she, she still doesn't agree with Sunset Shimmer, cause, cause, cause she thinks it's, she secretly thinks that, uh, that it's a, uh, it's a, uh, part of it's it's something that being caused by a uh, Midnight Sparkle. She, she thinks she's. She's afraid that she'll become Midnight Sparkle again, but she doesn't tell she doesn't tell anyone, not even Sunset about it. And then she tells Sunset not to tell any of their friends about the uh the uh <clears throat> the magic that she's gone because because she's too yeah, she's too afraid of becoming Midnight Sparkle, which, which, 
okay, yeah, yeah, I can, listen, I can see why she would, she wouldn't, or she wouldn't want anyone to know about it, because, because, because she's trying to, I'm sure she's trying to protect herself from hurting her friends, because she feels, she still feels guilty about what happened at the friendship games, but come on, you, you can't just, you, you, you can't just, just, uh, <clears throat> literally, we not make such a big deal out of something and just, just not being, and just be too afraid about it. Although I guess I can't really help something there. Plus, this is one of those flaws that I've been talking about, but I'll mention that once I get to the end of this review. Anyways, Sancho and then trips on this old dock. They all think it needs some work. They all talk about uh, what the dock should uh, to see uh, <clears throat> should uh, what the new dock should look like. Then, at night, Temper tells this story about, about this specific plant demon named uh, Gaia, the, Gaia Everfree. He tells a story about Gaia Everfree. <coughs> Sorry about that. She tells a story of Gaia Everfree. Then Goriosa comes in, scaring them. Yeah, and... And, uh, <clears throat> she's checking up on them and stuff. Uh, the next day, all the, the rest of, the, well, the, the next five girls, those, specifically Applejack, Rarity, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, they get their magical power, their magical abilities. Apple, Applejack with the rope, Rarity with shields, Fluttershy with animals, Pinkie Pie with uh, the, uh, the uh, confetti thing, and Rainbow Dash with the speed. Basically, the... Basically, the six of the girls have the the exact same abilities as the pony as 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 the pony main six, the the main six ponies in the pony universe. Eventually, Sunset. Eventually, Sunset Sherman gets her natural ability too, which is reading people's minds. Then. Sai Chui tries to leave Camp Everfree because she thinks that she's affected them <clears throat> with uh, <clears throat> with the uh, magics that they've all been getting. But then, but then Sunset talks her out of it, so Sai Chui decides to stay. He. Then the next day, they, the two girls go, go inside this cave, uh, they get trapped by Goriosa, and, and then she turns into, and then she turns into Guy Everfree, not like, not like how she looked, not like how Guy Everfree looks in the, uh, the, uh, Temper story, but she becomes Guy Everfree. Free, and then, and then tries to take over the camp, <clears throat> but then overpowered from it, all the girls finally reunite to each other. Sai Chui finally got her fear out of Midnight Sparkle, and so she and her friends stop Goriosa from making a huge mistake, and then, and then Camp Everfree is saved.
And then and then they throw a party at the end. That's basically it. <clears throat> so what do I think of Legend of Everfree overall? Well, like I said, it's a very good movie. It's it's a very good sequel to the first three movies. Movies. I like how it took place after one one main event of friendship games and <clears throat> and that it makes a good uh and and I even like how they made it even better than even even the first movie. Even the first Equestrian Ghost movie. But there's still some <clears throat> there's still some things in this in this sequel that bothers me to that that bothers me. Like like for example well, there, yeah, there's still a few things in this film that still that still bothers me a bit a bit. First thing oh like uh, oh, first thing I want to talk about that really bothers me is this is not on any, and this is not all means on any hate of the character. I think she's a good character, but but it's still a bit of the problem. But <clears throat> the first thing that bothers me about this movie is Gloriosa Daisy. Like, like seriously, wait. There are moments that bothers me too. Day, day. Well, not too much, but it's still a flaw that that just bothers me because <clears throat> because throughout the whole beginning and middle of 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 the movie, she's a <clears throat> Goriosa was just being a complete. Again, I cannot say this word, but it's that one cuss word that it's that one cuss word that has the word hole at the end. That's what Gloriosa is in this film. Yeah, it's the cuss word that has the word hole at the end. That that's what Gloriosa is in this in this movie, in the or in this program, I should say. <clears throat> That's what Gloriosa is in this. A complete. Well, throughout the beginning and middle, anyways. A complete cuss word that has the word whole at the end. Yeah, Gloriosa was a complete cuss word with the whole. Cuss word with Gloriosa was a complete cuss word with a word hole at the end from the from the whole entire beginning and middle of this film. Although I guess you could argue that Sidefly was also kind of being a uh, being a uh, <clears throat> cuss word that I guess you could argue that Sidefly was also being a cuss word with the whole. I mean. I guess you could also say that. I guess you could argue that Sidewalk was also kind of being a cuss word with the word "hole" at the end, and in 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 the film. But at the same time, you you can't blame the character for being a cuss word with the with the word "hole" at the end, because because like I said. Because, like I said earlier in this video, Sai Twai is afraid about hurting her friends because of what happened at the friendship games. games. So yeah, she was being a cuss word with the word hole at the end. In the beginning, but, sh but she's not being a... Cause we're with the whole with the word hole at the end. 
<clears throat> just like how like how Gloriosa was. No, she's just acting like that because she she wants to she wanted to protect herself from her friends because she's afraid about becoming Midnight Sparkle. Speaking of side why and uh, Midnight. Sparkle, Oh, speaking of side why and uh, midnight sparkle, that this leads to another flaw I have with the uh, the uh, this 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 sequel and 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 it's during the scene where she gets her magical ability. I think. I think. I don't mind the idea of of her keeping it a secret from her friends. I really don't. Especially if she's afraid to for everyone else to know. But I think it would make more sense if Sunset Shiver doesn't know about her magic eater. Because because for a character that's too afraid of showing her friends magical abilities I feel like Sunset should be anywhere near her for the majority of this of the sequel. Here's what I mean. <clears throat> Here's how I would do the scene. <clears throat> Rainbow Dash shows up as of their coming, like in the actual film. But Sunset actually goes with Rainbow Dash and Sidewise stays behind uh, for <clears throat> for a little bit to uh, to try and get ready. Then when she discovers Tony's magic, that's when Sunset comes back in the cabin, and <clears throat> and Spike tries to and because Spike knows about Sidewise magic, Spike tries to tell her about the magic she's gained, but Sidewise panics and recovers his mouth. And as Gloriosa kick her out of her cabin, so now Sajoy would begin the cavern of her own. So because of this, Sunset had to move to Fluttershy's cabin. <clears throat> and she, and her having magic is is being kept a secret from all her friends until until when the real guy ever free. Which I'll explain about that in a moment. <clears throat> Takes her magic and half of her life force. <clears throat> force. And... They find the six girls finds out about that because Guy Everfree mentions that she, the real Guy Everfree would mention that she took her magic and half of her life force. <clears throat> yeah, that's how I would have done that. Done that scene, but scene. But enough about that, boy. Let's get to let's get to one more flaw there is with with this uh this uh <clears throat> this this sequel and and it's and it's and it's with the uh and and it's, it has to be with the uh and and that flaw has to be with the uh Fluttershy enough of the screaming scene. Pain. Why is this a flaw? Well, don't get me wrong. It's a funny scene. <laughs> I really... I really think... I really think the scene was funny when... Funny, especially the way she's... Sunset says... Says Fluttershy enough the screaming. <clears throat> it was even funnier when Fluttershy... Shy was saying in a cute voice... I didn't scream, and then Rainbow was like, "Yeah, for once." 
Eins. So, but now your people are probably wondering, are now probably wondering, well, if it's a, oh, and I bet you guys are now probably wondering, well, if it's, if you, if you enjoy that scene so much, then why do you think it's a flaw? Well, that's an easy answer, actually. The Fluttershy Enough of the Screaming scene was uncalled for. Yeah, I I was not, when I first saw this film back in 2016, I was not expecting for that scene to be created. I, I thought, I thought that after Gloriel's son Timber left, they would, they would cut off to the next scene, but, but, no, they had something I was not expecting to happen, and it was uncalled for. Also, what was wrong with Sunset's voice when she was when she said that line? When she said Fluttershy enough with the screaming. Did Rebecca Shocky Kid had a problem pitching trying to pitch her voice or something? I don't know, but <clears throat> But anyways, those those were the main three flaws I have with this film. Here's how I would make this film better. Here's how I would would have made this movie made this a better how how I would make the sequel better than what it how it already already made. <clears throat> Here's how I would. Here, here's how I would have this, have this sequel, will go. It opens up with Side Twy waking up, <clears throat> realizing that she's that she overslept, like in the actual film. But when she wakes up, she's she's not already on the bus. She's she's still at home. <clears throat> Anyways, her friends calls her on the phone. Telling her that the camp, the bus to Camp Everfree is about to leave ten minutes, but then Sidewalk tells them that she's not going. Sidewalk attempted to stay home and and watch TV, but then, but then her, but then her, but then her mom knocks on the door, telling her that she she needs to get ready to go to Camp Everfree and that she'll. Love in a camp ever free because she herself went there when she was a teenager. But Sancho is still refusing. But she was forced. But she was forced by her mom to go to camp ever free anyways. <clears throat> so yeah, she she still goes to camp ever free because with no choice whatsoever. And then. <clears throat> They all go to camp. They meet Gloriosa, like in the actual, and Temper, like in the actual film. But when Rainbow asks if 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 they're coming or if 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 they're both coming or what, Sunset actually leaves the cabin, but Sarge stays behind a little bit. She's she has, she discovers a magical ability. Spike knows about Sideswise magical ability. Sunset comes back. <clears throat> Sideswise starts to get too panicky. Spike tries to tell Sunset that Sideswise got a magical ability, but then Sideswise panicsly covers her mouth from. I mean, covers Spike's mouth from telling her about her magical ability. She gets too panicky that that uh, she has Gloriosa kick Sunset out of her cabin so she can be all alone. Well, well, she has Spike, but you get the idea. Like I mentioned before, and so Sunset had had to move to Fluttershy's cabin. <clears throat> 
And the second time she has a nightmare about Midnight Sparkle. I was disappointed about that. I, I, this probably this probably should be another flaw I have. Have with this film. I was too disappointed about the nightmare being the second nightmare sequence being short. I I think they should have made her second nightmare sequence long. They uh <clears throat> and here's how I would uh have her second nightmare sequence go in this movie. Make her second nightmare sequence similar to to Charlie Barkin's nightmare sequence in the Old Dogs Go to Heaven movie. You know, where, yeah, the, you know, the nightmare in that scene where uh, Charlie goes to hell and gets uh, visited by the, uh, the, uh, and gets attacked by the hellhound and his, uh, his, uh, <clears throat> Demons. Well, the same thing can happen to her. I mean, well, the same thing can ha could have happened in Sonic Twice Second Nightmare sequence, and it could be similar to the nightmare scene in and all dogs go to heaven. Heaven after midnight says, "I'm always here." Sonic Twice try Sonic Twice runs back to the cabin, but then she gets sucked up by the. Uh, <clears throat> By the wind, she goes to hell, and she gets, she goes to hell, and, and she gets, she gets, uh, and, and she gets, uh, attacked by Midnight Sparkle and her demon, and, and her, and her demon child, and Midnight Sparkle's demon children, <clears throat> and, and then, and then, Midnight Sparkle's Demon Children's attack Sunshine for the rest of the nightmare sequence and and then the nightmare sequence ends as soon as Sunshine Boy wakes up. <clears throat> Alright. Then uh Sunshine alone uh Discovers that Applejack, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy have uh, magical ability. These and and uh, <clears throat> for the scene where she uh, and and for the lanyard scene, the lanyard scene will, for the most part, be exactly how it is in the. Uh, Actual Legend of Everfree movie. But. I, I keep hearing bumping noises. Ah, uh, whatever. That's not too important. But. As she's about to walk to the docks. She hears Midnight Sparkle's voices. I mean in her head. That she decided that she. That she just. Can't stay in the camp. So she. So she destroys her lamp. She actually destroys her lantern, and then she runs off. A few hours later, after everyone goes to sleep, Spike then sees that Sonic Twice trying to get away from Camp Everfree at night. He falls, Spike. He stops her and cheers her up. Hold on, give me a second. To Sorry about that. I had to go see where that phone noise come from, but I failed at finding out. But anyways, Spike cheers her up. Then as then Sidewise sees the uh but then and then Sidewise and Spike both see this mysterious cave. But as Sidewise is about to go in, that's when she and Spike get scared by Temper with his axe. <clears throat> Temper and the scene will be the same as the uh, actual scene, but but this time, it. But basically, but this time without sunset. So, 
every line that sons that said in the original scene, they would all be Spike's lines in that scene. <clears throat> scene. Temper walks Sajway home. Sajway then wakes up. After and then after the embrace the magic sun, Sajway then comes out of her cabin. And she hears Temper and Gloriosa's conversation. Um and so Sajway tries to get back to her cabin, but then but then she gets uh but then she as she was about to go to her cabin, Sunset then 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 sh then comes comes to Sajway telling her that happily telling her that she's been looking for for her her and then she was she was gonna tell her her about what they've been doing, but Sajway gets but then that's when Sajway gets too uh, ticked off that she just wanted to be left alone. <clears throat> Then Sun said, tells her that he was just trying to have a conversation. I mean, she was just trying to have a conversation with her. Sai Chui then tells her that to get a again to get away from her. Then Sun said gets finally gets mad at her and 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 demands to know what she's been what what has been going on with her because because it's been. Uh, because it's been uh, because she's been acting panically since she since they first came to Camp Everfree. Sajway kept constantly telling them that it was not a forbidden. I kept constantly telling Sunset that it was none of her business. Then the five girls tries to break up the argument, <clears throat> but then Sunset goes too far with the argument that. Sajway eventually picks up a rock, attempts to throw it at Sunset's face. The girls duck her from the rock, and the rock knocks down all the money that that the that uh, they worked hard on because they were trying to save the camp. Camp, but then that rock completely knocks the money down, and all the money that they were close to to raising to save. Uh, <clears throat> that they were almost done raising to save the camp gets shredded into into the paper shredder. The girls then looks at it and sees all the money they've worked hard on get shredded. And then that's when Sunset snaps and gets really, really ticked off at Sides Y for <clears throat> for making that happen. Then, then, then she, then she tells her, her about, then she tells her about, about how she's been acting, she, exact, she acted exactly like how she acted back in the friendship games, which offended, which offend, which offended sides why, and then, <clears throat> And and then and then Sunset tries to tell her that she didn't she didn't mean it. But then Sajway gets completely ticked off at Sunset. Not only Sunset, but all the girls that she calls she she calls all of them. Well, well, apparently except for Pinkie Pie, because Pinkie Pie wouldn't be hearing all this. She would be too. too Directed because I wanted to make a funny uh, from something because I wanted to make a funny scene, <laughs> <clears throat> and then she calls them freaks, which caused all their friends to not want to be friends with her anymore. So they just completely leave her, and and then there and then there goes that funny scene I was talking about. There would be this funny scene where Pinkie Pie. Uh, <clears throat> walks back on screen with a cupcake saying and then asking and then asking uh what did I miss <clears throat> <coughs> 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 
Sorry I've been coughing too much. I don't I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm coughing so much. I'm not sick or anything, but uh Maybe it's just a temporary cold, but getting back on the review. <clears throat> getting back to what I was saying. And then Spike tries to tell Sideswipe that what she did that what she did was very wrong. Sideswipe, of course, then then <clears throat> gets very angry at uh, Spike for trying to calm her down. That to the point that where she used her magic abilities to tries <clears throat> tries to uh, kill Spike without realizing it. She then looks in the mirror. And that's when she realizes this that she's that that she that she that she nearly tried to hurt Spike. She she drops him and starts getting afraid of herself. She tells Spike to get away from her and <clears throat> And then, and she gets too scared that she runs away from the camp again. <clears throat> Spike tries to stop her, but she already run off. And then, uh, that's when <clears throat> we see that uh, Goriosa son gets evil all of a sudden by grabbing Spike from the tail. She locks Spike in the cage of of cockroaches. So he can never get out. We then see Sideswai run off through <clears throat> the Everfree Forest, trying to tell her uh, forest, telling herself that about how she's a bad society to her friends. Then she gets hit by I mean her face then she gets then she hits a spider web. Then she gets hit <clears throat> multiple times. No, not too by by trees multiple times. Not not too much. Not too much though, because like I said, I I I can't stand side by torture. Then she trips on a stem, and then she gets back up and sees this. The cave, the magical cave that she and Spike saw yesterday. She finally goes inside the cave. And she sees some of the cats that's, that's half of their lives been <clears throat> taken. And then we cut back to uh, the six girls in Goriosa's office. Goriosa comes in for a second. She then... Goes to her phone, realizing that <clears throat> Sidewise is in the cave. Goriosa leaves, and then Goriosa leaves her office, and then that's when the uh, Fluttershy enough with a screaming scene could happen. Because, because unlike when I was here, if that scene happens after, for well, the scene of. The Fluttershy enough for a screaming scene happening at the after their side wipe <clears throat> gets the money sh shredded would not be on what would, would actually be called would, would not be uncalled for. It would actually be called for. <clears throat> or because because Sunset would have said Fluttershy enough for the screaming because she's still angry about because she still would have been angry about what Sidewind did. Then we cut to the back to the scene with Sidewind in the cave. Gariosa tells Sidewind that she'll take her magic away and she'll be a normal girl again. But then it turns out that she not only take her magic, but also half of her life force. <clears throat> and then Gorios, the Goriosa that we've been seeing this whole time is revealed to be the real Gaia Everfree. And then we see that the real Goriosa is actually tied up. <clears throat> has been tied up this whole time. Gaia Everfree then leaves and locks both sides YN Goriosa in the cave. 
She then goes to the camp ever free. <clears throat> after the camp faction show, Pink, Pink, and then after the camp faction show, Pinky then causes an accident, which, which the girls gets, some of the girls gets ang, which Sunset Rarity gets angry at her for, but then Pinky apologizes and asks them they can forgive her, and then they realize, and then, and then they realize that, that, uh, that it was, that, that Pinkie Pie really didn't mean to cause destruction, and it really was just an accident, so they forgive her, <clears throat> then all of the six girls talks about forgiveness, then they realize that, that Sideswai caused an accident by causing all the money to, to get shredded in the paper paper shredder and she was trying to apologize for it and and she was trying to apologize for it and and sunset was even telling herself that she never forgave her for that at all and then midnight sparkle oh yeah that reminds me <clears throat> Goriosa also unleashes midnight sparkle and so midnight sparkle Disguises as Sidewai, but then, in, in which all the, well, actually before that, we then see the girls unlock Spike from the cage, as he is, Spike is completely injured from getting bitten by cockroaches. <clears throat> and then we see, and then Midnight Sparkle shows up disguising as Sidewai. They all thought they were... That that was the real side why, but then they realized her eyes were different. So then <clears throat> she reveals herself as Midnight Sparkle. Then the real guy Everfree shows up. Applejack asks her what she what has Guy Everfree did with Twilight. Guy Everfree tells them that she took half of <clears throat> That she took Sideswise magic in half of her life, meaning that she would die in a few hours. Worse. Sun and 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 she also says that that she has sunset to thank her for, for that. That because 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 she was because sunset were because sunset would have got angry at Sideswai, and that would have been the last thing she did to her. Anyways, the girls and <clears throat> Guy Free tell tells everyone that Sunset has made everyone realize that Sun thinking that Sunset is the reason why Sideswai is about to die. So all the students of Carolot High High get mad at Sunset except for Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Applejack, of course. But all their students of Canterlot High go back to thinking that that she went, Sunset finally went back to the, and, and go back, all the other students of Canterlot High, except for Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Applejack. All the other students of Carolot High go back to thinking that Sunset Shimmer is still the same Sunset Shimmer as she was back in the fall formal. <clears throat> oh, and they go back to and they go back to hating her again. Leaving Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, Apple, and Applejack to be the only ones liking her. In which all the students hating on Sunset. <clears throat> Goes back to and uh, leads to Sunset feeling guilty about what happened to Side Twy and <clears throat> and then that's when Guy Everfree uh, <clears throat> that's when Guy Everfree uh, takes over the camp. The girls tries to stop them them. Eve, I mean, tries to stop Guy Everfree, even Sunset Shimmer, but the, but, but it's not enough. 
their magic is not enough. Anyways, the real Gorio so finally <clears throat> unties herself. She she takes she she picks up the unconscious side why They eventually escape the cave after getting attacked by a moss by this monster and which this demon monster gets killed by by the kitties. In other words, all those kitties whose life half of their lives are taken away by Gary Everfree sacrificed themselves so that uh Sai Chui and Goriosa, Goriosa can escape with the unconscious Sai Chui. <clears throat> they eventually do escape the cave from the mine that's behind the magic thing. And and <clears throat> and so <clears throat> and they go through this high track where it causes them to to fall into the fall off the mine and all the way back to to Camp Everfree while the vines <clears throat> were were trapping the, the the campers because the top thing wasn't fully fully trapped <clears throat> covered the girls see that Sai Chui is unconscious and that she's in very bad condition. The girls then split up. They all try to stop Midnight Sparkle and Gaia ever free. But then Fluttershy and Sunset Shimmergus turn to stone. <clears throat> Sai Chui then finally wakes up in pain because... <clears throat> <clears throat> Because she's too, she would be too weakened to, to talk straight and get up. She then crawls to, to a dead. Oh, that reminds me. When Rarity shields <clears throat> one of the demons away from, from the five of them. <clears throat> the magic. It, it'll cause the magic to turn that demon to stone, and it, and as he falls to the ground, it'll cause he, the demon would shatter and die. Like the storm, just like, just like what happened, just like, just like what happened to the Storm King in, in, in the 2017 My Little Pony movie. <clears throat> Anyway, Rarity gets Rarity's shield gets eventually gets destroyed. Then Sai crawls to the demon's magical ability because she, yeah, she would crawl. She would only be able to crawl because she would be too weakened to get up because you know half her life force would be taken away. <clears throat> she then gets. <clears throat> She then gets the demon's magic in in while still in pain. She then destroys she then finally destroys Midnight Sparkle, both Midnight Sparkle and Guy Everfree. Still in pain, because her half of her life force is still taken away. Which which would actually lead to a a sacrifice. Uh, which which would actually lead to to Sai Chui sacrificing herself, <clears throat> sacrificing Sai Chui sacrificing herself, so to save Camp Everfree. All the students had to rush inside Goriosa's office because the vines were about to explode. <clears throat> the vines eventually do explode, and then Sai Chui. Goes back to being completely unconscious, and then Sai Chui, and then Sai Chui goes into a coma, falls in this pink light, and then she disappears. Here's and and she, and and she's gone for a whole entire rest of the film. <clears throat> Temper then, and when Temper then comes in, the girls ask Temper where what happened to Sai Chui. He shows them 
such was Lucky Pink Bracelet, meaning that he and Gory also looked everywhere for Sidewise, but the Lucky Pink Bracelet was all they could find. <clears throat> and that's when Temper says, She was who she was, a brave and heroic camper. No, wait. She was who she was, a brave and heroic teenage girl who gave her life to save this camp. Twilight Sparkle. And that's when Sunset starts starts blaming herself, feels really guilty about it. About it, thinking that Sidewise Sidewise believed death was her fault. But the friends will come will will always be there to comfort her her even even with even when the students of Canterlot High now no longer wants to be friends with her anymore because 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 after after when they heard about about it they uh the students would would go back to thinking that sunset still still her exactly how she was in in the first movie <clears throat> They all leave, and that's when the girls leave the camp because they realize that since they haven't raised any money since Gaia Everfree's destruction, Camp Everfree does not get saved. So they all go back home and Sunset, uh, and, and then, uh, but, but as they're about to leave, Sunset looks one la makes one last look at the sun and says, Sayonara, Twilight Sparkle. And then after the end credits, the post credit scene can happen, but <clears throat> that the, the post credit scene can still happen, but with the girls at one of the one of their home backyards, <clears throat> and the post credit scene would be the same, except it would be at 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 one of the girls' home backyards and without side why I bet that's how I would have would have made <clears throat> that's how I would have made Legend of Everfree. And now I bet some people are probably thinking, What? You think it would have been better if 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 side why died from a heroic sacrifice? Dude, you're psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. <clears throat> I'm. I can see where you people would come from if I was if, if I was talking about this. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Side Y is only believed to be dead. She returns in. She would return in Spring Breakdown. <clears throat> and I know exactly how how they would they would find her from Spring Breakdown. Spring Break in Spring because in Spring Breakdown the Equestria Girls universe would have nearly got destroyed because of outside why time lost time finally lost effect on the Equestria Girls universe, <clears throat> meaning that the Equestria Girls characters has not been aging. And so, and so the girls come across this quicksand, and they find Side Y as a lying down in this cave as a pony. But Side Y does not remember anything. She's forgotten all about it, about everything she did remember, even even the friendship games and Midnight Sparkle. <clears throat> but then, but then when they all come back. Side, side twice is back in the for the rest of the franchise. <clears throat> uh, and oh boy, there's a lot of I'll, I'll be explaining about Spring Breakdown when I review that special. That's for sure. But overall, 
I think I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a score because this review has already been going on for an hour and and it, it's time that I put this video to rest. It's getting a excellent and it's getting 200 points. So, many of you guys are probably wondering, okay, if there's some flaws I have with this film, if there were a lot of things I've been complaining about this film, and if I explain so much depth, okay, just want to make sure no one was sitting in front of my door listening to this, if I was going deaf about how I would have, would have, would have made camp Legend of Ever Free. If I complain about everything, if if I complain about everything I have a problem with with Legend of Ever Free, then why do I still think that it's better than than the first film? Why do I still think it's better than the first Question Kills movie? If I've been complaining about think, some things this whole time, well, because. Because, be, be, because the plot and the, and the, uh, <clears throat> the plot and, and the, uh, the, uh, atmosphere in the, Aspen, uh, atmosphere in this is actually better than the original first three movies. And, and the songs as, as per perfect song, fantastic songs that's perfect for, for this movie. Well, sequel, I should say. <clears throat> and, uh, it, <clears throat> it has a lot of great songs in it. And, not to mention, the opening theme, the opening, the opening theme is not similar to the theme to the opening theme to the first Equestrian Ghost movie. Like, like seriously, for the opening theme in Rainbow Rocks and Friendship Games, that they're still different themes, don't get me wrong, but the music is too dang similar to the first film. The, this time around, though, the, when they play the opening theme in, 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 in this one, they, it's not, it's completely different, the music is completely different, it's not anywhere similar to the theme to the first Equestrian Ghost movie, it's completely different, <clears throat> and it's by a banjo, too. <clears throat> I also like the other songs in this film. Definitely the best song in, in, in this sequel is, is Embrace the Magic. I, I cannot, I, mean, I cannot think about Sunset Shimmer in the sequel without, with, without, without thinking about that, that, that Embrace the Magic song. Like, seriously, that song is so, so unique and impressive that it, it makes you, it, it makes you wanna, go outside and enjoy the day so much. <clears throat> it was definitely the best song. It was definitely the best one. It was it was basically Sunset Shimmer's best moment throughout the, one of the best moments of Sunset Shimmer throughout the whole entire Pleasure Girls franchise too. <clears throat> oh, and and speaking of sunset, that that brings me back to the October first, two thousand sixteen text in in a different color. Like I said, it's orange. I had to be orange, but I had to be a by, but I had it in a yellow orange color because because that's uh 
because that's supposed to be Sunset Shimmer's color because because I can never tell if she's yellow or if she's orange because she looks like a bit of both. Kind of like Tails from Sonic because <clears throat> there are times where I, where I think Tails is yellow but there are also times where I think Tails is orange. And he's a little bit of both cause, so I can't fully never tell ever tell if Tails is yellow or orange. But for now I'm gonna be I'm gonna say that Tails is yellow because 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 Fluttershy is because because Fluttershy is yellow and uh, <clears throat> Yeah I'm just gonna say Tails is yellow. Plus there's many plush videos that have said that he's yellow but 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 that's just the, but, but that's, but that's just the, but that's just because of the plush version, the, the plush version of him looks yellow though. While in the actual game or show, there are times where he does look yellow, but there are also times where he looks orange. Like in the Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog, <sighs> Tails look completely orange in that, in and like in the Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Sadiam, Tails looks completely orange in those two shows. <clears throat> While in everything else, there are just times where he looked yellow, but also times where he looked orange. The same thing could be said with Squidward from SpongeBob too, because there were times where Squidward looked blue, but there were also times where he looked green. I can never fully tell if Squidward's blue or green, but for right now, I'm just gonna say Squidward's blue since he's he looks more blue. He well, not looks more blue. He feels more blue. He looks, cause like I said, he looks like a mix of two colors. <clears throat> and the same thing goes with Sunset Shimmer. She she looks she looks yellow, but she also looks orange. I'm just gonna say she looks orange though, cause. I'm just gonna say she's orange though until until I f eventually find out the actual color of her skin. Then, <clears throat> but anyways, for overall, but and and not to mention. For once, the the we the pony version of of the Mile Pony characters we are not involved with this movie. Unlike unlike the last three films, where Twilight has to go to uh, well, technically in Friendship Games, Twilight technically only came came to the Equestria Ghost Universe at the post credit scene, but. But that still counts as <clears throat> her coming, coming there. So, but this is actually the first time where we don't see anything from the My Little Pony universe. In fact, this doesn't even feel like a My Little Pony movie at all. It it feels more like just an just a regular, some sort of regular movie, move movie. <clears throat> it. Feels more like a regular movie. It feels more like it. It, it feels more like that. Equestria Ghost is is that this Equestria Equestria Ghost isn't a Mile Pony thing, <clears throat> which I think would work better if Equestria Ghost was a completely different thing. But that's besides the point. And plus the flaws that I'm that I've been complaining about in this. They do bother me. They still and they still do, but they don't bother me as much as as the flaws that happened in Rainbow Rocks and Friendship Games. They really don't. Oh and oh and and uh, getting back to what I was explaining about my uh. About an alternate version of my Pony Quest Ghost Legend of Every, me and and one of my other YouTube friends, Kevin the White Werewolf, actually did a roleplay on an alternate version of 
of of Legend of Everfree on <clears throat> a comic a comic play role play where we reply to each other doing a role play on an alternate inter an alternate version of of My Little Pony Equestria Girls Legend of Everfree on the comments section of my <clears throat> on on my uh on my on my My Little Pony the movie review video, which I'll link to so if so yeah, if you guys want to see me and Kaylin's role comic role play on on an alternate version of Legend of Earthry, I'll link to the My Little Pony the movie video the comment section of the My Little Pony the movie video will be down in the description. So you guys can go to the video's comment section and see the role play and see that role play me and Kaylin were doing re replying to each other. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. This video's already been an hour and 36 minutes long. And if I and and, and if I keep reviewing this this movie, the battery's going to on this time it's going to drain and it's going to it's going to be dead. So, I better I I better hurry up and get this video up. Plus, I would knock on the door for a second. But anyways, I better hurry up and and uh, upload this to you too before the battery dies. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. So uh, hope you all enjoyed this review video, and this is probably the uh, longest review video I've did too. <laughs> I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this go and and. Stay tuned as I review the the three uh, twenty three out. I mean twenty three minute specials that aired on Discovery Family back in two thousand seventeen, in which I gotta I gotta go watch them because 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 well I haven't seen them so apart from like the German dub of of the. Uh, <clears throat> Dance magic, but I'm not gonna count that. That, I because I gotta watch Dance Magic in English. I gotta go. I gotta go watch those three specials because I because because I don't because because I have not seen them, and if I don't review them, I, I and if I don't watch them, I can't review them, and I want to review them. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Stay tuned. Stay tuned as I review Dance Magic. Later.